What's up, Subi friends? So, you guys gave me the best advice and told me which one I should get between the three. And, uh, of course, I listened. So, here it is, the Cobb AOS. Let's get it installed. Let's get this opened up and see what we got. I'm gonna get to this. The most important thing, this is the main reason we went with Cobb instead of the IAG. Even though, yes, they are the same thing, Cobb has this sticker. And if you live in California, the sticker is gold. Our heat shields. Damn, this thing is nice. It's like, it's very well made. Big old Cobb logo. I like that color. All right, we'll set you over here. Bag of goodies. A lot of zip ties. Hose clamps, more hose clamps, brackets for the AOS to mount onto the car. T fittings, hose and T fittings. A lot of holes. A lot of hoses. A lot of hoses. That's it. Pick these up, especially for our get a dom tune cylinder four hose cooling mod. So that's some hose clamps, and so maybe these will come in handy for the AOS. soon very soon all right so we got everything laid out and it looks like everything is there which is good it's hot outside so in the background I'm gonna have that thing running hopefully the audio is still good if it's not it might be too late but I'm gonna go with these wireless microphones just in case also a full disclaimer I've never done this before I have no idea where any of this stuff goes so I'm gonna be watching a video and following along and you guys are just gonna be along with me so yeah, this is not a how-to video. This is how to install while watching a video on how to install. Inception. First things first, just want to remove this negative terminal. There we go. Hope that's a good angle. Looks legit. All right, it says two. Just gonna do these bolts. Gonna remove these two. Move our intercooler bolts. No, I better not try that. You two go. Put me back in the place. I think I'm recording this because I'm not going to remember where half of these bolts go. I almost forgot about you hiding down in there. Push down, back towards the firewall, lift up on the driver's side. Push down. Firewall. Oh, yeah. 
We did it. Now we need to find one of four PVC connectors, one marked with the blue tape. You look like the PCV connector with the blue tape. Hey, you are the PCV connector with the blue tape. Number one. Uh, hello, you. Passenger side. Got you. And probably you. Jeez. Oh, oh, oh. You did something. Take this over here. Just need to yank these guys off. This one, this one, and I think this one. All right, I got two of the three off. The instructions say to pull, but it's a lot easier to like pull and bend and twist. And they should come off. Unless it's this one, because this might be the one thing that stops everything. Oh. All right, let's go to the car. All right, connect you onto here. Oh, you should do that. Okay, then we turn you so that you face down. One goes here. And the other goes here. All right, now we gotta take the throttle body, undo these bolts, and slide it out of the way a little bit. Now, we just gotta remove this clamp off the PCV nipple, and then pull off that hose. Now, I'm using hose pliers, but you can use a pair of needle nose pliers. They'll work just as good. Now just look for that white PCV connector closest to the turbo. There's two of them. So I think it's this one. I wasn't sure which one it was, but I knew I was gonna unplug something. Now I just had to grab that whole PVC assembly that was attached to the block and just yank it right up. That was right. I did forget this part when I pulled out the whole assembly. Or the whole, yeah, whatever. But we got it now. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, we gotta take this part off. And we're going to reinstall it back onto here. So I'm over here at the workbench and I am putting the white connector and clamping these two clamps on. These things, really cool. They have this like ratchet function. They're hose um, pliers. You can look it up on Amazon. They're only like 10 bucks, but yeah, these are, these are dope. So anyways, just wanna make sure these are on the, facing the same way, just because I'm just gonna take it and squeeze it. Well, just like that. Hopefully that was in focus, but if it wasn't, my bad. Now that part that I just said to remember, this is me struggling for about two hours trying to get that stupid Y pipe on. Now it did not fit. I mean, I struggled and I struggled. It would not fit. So it's easier to not do what the instructions say, which are a pipe onto the fitting on top of the block. This can take a little bit of effort, so be patient. So yeah, I tried everything to get that pipe back on, but actually it was a whole lot easier and would have saved me about three hours of time if I just would have reused the factory hose that came with it and then attached the Y pipe. So much more easier.
the Allen screws provided by Cobb, put it into these three holes, torque it down to seven foot pounds, but then I realized I had it in the wrong holes in the first place. Let's do it all over again. Torque it down to seven foot pounds, we're good. So we got the AOS in, which wasn't too much of a pain in the ass, but at the same time, it really was. We got all of our hoses ran. They look good, just the way the instruction, instruction <laughs> just the way the instructions say to do it. Uh, right now, we just gotta put the top mount back in and button everything back up, which we're gonna do right now. First, I gotta do a cleanup. You know me, I gotta do a cleanup. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a time lapse cleanup and then we're gonna put it back together. And hopefully, we're gonna start it. I hope. What? Now, in a way, the intercooler was kind of a pain in the butt to put back in. Having that pick to reconnect the Y pipe made it a lot easier. All right, it's all connected back up again. I think if we could plug up the battery and then we go for a first start. So now we just gotta check and then recheck and then recheck some more to make sure there's no leaks, no holes, nothing. But hey, it's all good right now. And now we just gotta open that bleeder valve to lift the air out of the AOS. You did it. And you know what? Temperature looks okay. Nothing's leaking out of there. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That was not very much fun, but we did it anyways. I'm gonna take it around the block and then I'm gonna let it cool down. Then check the antifreeze and make sure that it's all good. All right, make sure you be friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.